Hi, I'm Mary Sweeten, director of the SCC Orchestra. On behalf of the ensemble, I'd like to welcome you to this, our first video concert. Our first selection is a movement from Grieg's Holberg Suite. Let me first give you some background on the composer. Edvard Grieg lived from 1843 to 1907. He was a Norwegian composer, a pianist, and widely considered one of the leading composers of the Romantic era. He was also a nationalist, promoting Norwegian folk music in his compositions and trying to bring that into international awareness and consciousness. Grieg Beloved Holberg Suite was written in 1884 to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the birth of Ludwig Holberg. So you see, this is also a nationalistic piece. Holberg was considered to be the founder of modern Norwegian literature and lived during what we now call the Baroque era. Given that, it's no surprise that Grieg's Holberg Suite uses many of the standard Baroque conventions, beginning with its form, a suite, comprised of popular Baroque dances, such as the Sarabande, the Gavotte, and the Rigodon. Furthermore, the composer sets up the suite in a very Baroque fashion with an introductory movement, a preludium, or as they called them, a prelude in the Baroque era. Although not as famous as Grieg's Pier Gint Suite, many critics regard the Pier Gint Suite and the Holberg Suite as having equal merit, and without questions, it's a favorite for string or orchestras to perform. Our second selection will be Mozart's famous Eine Kleine Nacht music. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart lived from 1756 to 1791. Mozart is arguably the most gifted musician in the history of classical music. His inspiration is often described as divine, but he worked assiduously not only to become the great composer he was, but also a great conductor, virtuoso pianist, violinist, and organist. Mozart's body of work is staggering, especially for someone who only lived to be 35 years old. It encompasses 22 operas, 41 symphonies, 62 sonatas, over 50 concerti for different instruments, 13 serenades, 26 string quartets, uh, quintets, trios, church sonatas, 18 masses, including a, a requiem mass, and many more works. So many, in fact, that in 1862, Ludwig von Kuschel produced a comprehensive listing of Mozart's work revealing an astonishing number of masterpieces, over 600 in all. The name of this work, Eine Kleine Nacht Music, comes from the entry Mozart made in his personal catalog. It simply means a little night music, or maybe a little serenade, which makes sense, since serenades were generally played as lighter fare, background music, if you will, for evening parties, soirees, balls, come what have you. Mozart's serenades were generally written on commission. While there is no written record of a commission for this work, we can pretty fairly safely assume it was a commissioned work. They were usually written for big affairs like maybe a wedding or a party. And yet, we know nothing of its first performance. In fact, the work wasn't even published until 1827, long after Mozart's death. His wife, Costanza, his widowed wife, Costanza, had the work published along with a number of other things that she'd bundled together and brought to the publisher, Johann Andre, in 1799. Mozart and his classical era contemporaries spent a good deal of their time developing two aspects of the music. One of them was a melody. The melody reigned supreme. Everything was about promoting and supporting the melody. So the melody had to be memorable, hummable, if you will, singable, something that would be, catch the ear. And secondly, they wanted to craft that melody within a form of the time. They were all about symmetry and form and classical beauty, balance, if you will. And this piece, Eine Kleine Nacht Music, hits it out of the park on both those counts. Absolutely uh, unforgettable, beautiful melodies in it. In fact, I bet every one of you remembers this or is even somehow familiar with this tune if you haven't even named it, bum, ba bum, ba 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 bum. That is from Eine Kleine Nacht Music. He takes uh, beautiful melodies and nestles them into these wonderful forms, and it makes the melodies feel like they're free and unimpeded and not confined. Um, so he was really classically quite a genius in that way. We thank you for coming. 
and for listening to our concerts. Hope you enjoy them. Thank you.